Hi everyone, this is Nazmul Islam from Classy Devs and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit the header menu of the PrestaShop. So here you can see a logo and there are some menu here. So we will show you that how can we change this kind of things and how can we add the additional menu here or how can we change the search, search bar from here to another section. So let's get started. Now we have just logged into our back office. So in here you can see this is the dashboard of the PrestaShop back office. So now we are, go we are going to change the design. So just click on the design section and click on the theme and logo. So here you can see there is the logo. This is the header logo and this is the mail logo and this is the fab icon. So this logo is shown here and here you can see the another logo that is it is called the fab icon and we also can change this kind of header logo fab icon from the clicking of the browse so just click on the browse and here is the internal storage so you can upload an image here but you have to you have to make sure that the image height is 40 pixel and wide is 20 200 pixel so now we are not going to change this uh, as we are going to change the page configuration just click on that so here you can see there is the home page the category page and the product page but now we are going to change the header menu so to change the header menu just click on the main menu section here you can see this is the main menu and this is the main menu so we will click the configure section here just click on that and you can see there is a clothes accessories art art so here you can see the cloth accessories art so this is these are the menus and when you just keep the cursor in the menu you can see the sub menu the cloth sub menu is man oh man accessories sub menus are stationary home accessories and the art has no subcategories so if we want we can add the subcategories no problem so here is the search icon so let's let's add the another uh, category with the subcategories so let's see here is the cms this, these are the cms and uh, there are the categories you can see the section there are some section here so we would like to add the home so let's see what happened here so just just uh, click on the home and just click on the add section here you can see the home section is added here so the cloth accessories art then home will appear so you can just click on save so now let's see it is working or not well we have just see home here so we can uh, change the home section from bottom to top just uh, click on the home that is a select now and just click the up arrow so this is now in the first position and here home has subcategories you can see this is why in home we have the subcategories so just uh, click on the save and now see the change that you, you see here home is the first now so this is how we can change the position of the menu so suppose you want to add some custom category so if you want you can add the custom category it's very easy like uh, you want to give the rename this uh, presta shop and you want to use the link that is the presta shop.com so if you want you can open the same link suppose if you want to click this home or close then it will just open in the same window but here we have the option that if when you click when you click on the cloth or any other category then it will open in the new tab so we will do it now just click on the new window so and just click on the add now find out where is our presta shop button is added here you can see the menu top links so this is our link we have already added so just click on uh, select on that and click on add here is the pistol shop added and click on save 
just uh, refresh it here you can see the pastry shop is added when you will click on that the pastry shop you can see that the new tab is open so it is not opening in the same tab so this is how we can add the custom link from here suppose uh, you want to remove this uh, search bar from here so you can do it uh, to remove the search bar from the header menu section just uh, go to the design then go to the position so here you can see uh, these are the hooks so we are we will find our search bar from here here you can see the search bar we have just search in the search box and just click on that search bar so in the search bar so we will just uh, check these things and we will unhook the selection so if we unhook the selection then it will remove from here and we will again add this so just unhook now just click on the unhook the selection okay it is uh, successfully removed from the hook so now just uh, reload this and here, here you can see there is no uh, search icon so this is how your uh, hook is work so now we will add this kind uh, add this search bar again in the header menu section so let's do it now just uh, to add this uh, in the hook just click the transplant a module now here you can see a lot of option here just uh, click on the search bar and now we would like to transplant to the display header top because uh, this is the display header top section so we have to add this search bar to the display header top so just uh, find out now display header top display top this is what we are looking for so we will select this now we would like to save this okay the module transplanted successfully to the hook so let's now let's reload this and this is here so if we want we can change this search bar from this display top to here or uh, in the bottom section however so we can change this kind of things suppose you want to change the uh, categories or you want to add the categories menu and the subcategories so you also can do that just go to the design and then go to the theme and logo so pages configuration here you can see the categories so you can configure the categories you can add the new categories or you can edit the exact uh, you can uh, rename the existing categories you can edit them so if you want to learn more about how to edit the categories then you can watch our another video we have uh, explained it uh, about how to edit the category in PrestaShop 1.7 so how, uh, from this video you, you can learn many things so we will put this link to our description box if you want to customize the menu uh, from the header like you, you would like to make the colorful header or you would like to customize it then you can use the crazy element page builder so this crazy element page builder if you use the pro version then you can make the beautiful menu by this uh, module so here uh, we have a uh, documentation uh, with video so you can watch this video how can we make the uh, customizable headers header menu for the presta shop and it is very uh, compatible with the phone and the tab so if you want you can uh, watch this video we will put this link to our uh, description box of this video so this is all about our tutorial if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe the channel to get the more video thank you